The unmistakable sound of the UEFA Champions League. Welcome back to the Sportsmax Zone. So you know that football is where we start today's show with a look ahead to the second leg matches in the quarterfinal round of the Champions League. The first legs were delightful to watch, serving up a total of 18 goals. And the anticipation for the second legs are very high. Yeah, the anticipation is very high. Not that you need any reminder, but let's take a look at the fixtures. Borussia Dortmund versus Atletico Madrid. That comes up on Tuesday at Leti with a 2-1 advantage. Barcelona 3-2 over PSG going into Tuesday's second leg. And then on Wednesday, Manchester City versus Real Madrid. 3-3, that one is locked at Bayern Munich. Will be at home to Arsenal. That one locked at 2-2. Well, as you know by now, JustBet is a sponsor of our UEFA Champions League content on, the, on Sportsmax. And as we preview the matches, we'll also look at the betting odds. Mm, joining us via Zoom to help us through, Mark Archer, Technical Manager at JustBet. Mark, welcome to the Sportsmax Zone. It's a pleasure to have you. How are you today? I'm pretty good. Pleasure to be here. Yeah, for sure. What does a Technical Manager do? I'm interested. I'm probably looking for a job. <laughs> well, the technical manager is responsible for the um, the betting terminals mm. for JustBet and all the operations, the back office operations um, for the um, sports betting. What's a betting terminal? Well, that's a terminal that when you visit a, a JustBet location, you can place bets on on almost every sport uh, you can think of. Mm. All right, let's talk about the odds then um, for Tuesday. Um, what do you have for us? What's it looking like? Well, for Tuesday, um, first up, we have Barcelona 2. Well, both matches are 2. But Barcelona plays PSG. Um, Barcelona is at home and they're the favorites with odds of $2.16. Um, we offer PSG at $3. Um, of course, you know, Barcelona should, should win um, based on, on all that's happening. Barcelona is currently on a six game win streak in all competitions Barcelona uh, PSG has lost well as one two of the last six games in all competitions so we expect based on form Barcelona should win so you are saying for PSG to go to Spain and turn over Barcelona and we're not talking well I guess if they do that then yeah they'll win the the well we're not talking the the overall tie we're just talking tomorrow's second leg no. so if they win the second leg and they have to and they do that in 90 minutes you're saying that pays three dollars for psg so $3. if i put two thousand jamaican dollars on that i walk away with six thousand dollars that's correct mm, that sounds like a good bet to me though <laughs> well i mean well the good, the good money would be on barcelona the home team and yes, the informed but the, team but the big money is on psg the big money is on PSG, so if you want to go for the the um the underdog, yes. Well, shoot. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not giving the viewers um anything to think about there. I'm just saying that's the way I would think about it. Um. So yeah. So there's Dortmund against Atletico Madrid. What are the odds looking like for this one? Okay, Dortmund is the home team, and just with is offering them as favorites, two dollars and twenty-two cents. And Atletico is going at three dollars. So again, we're seeing where the underdogs are going for three dollars. Well, if you're a fan of underdogs, you could always just group all the underdogs together. That that works, right? So three times three would be nine. And then if I put ten thousand dollars on that, that's ninety thousand dollars. That's ninety thousand dollars. Oh dear, that sounds like great odds to me um i know that lance and mariah are not quite into the betting so they don't understand these things i'm not into betting myself but i try to educate myself on what's going on around the right. business especially when just bet is part of the team I, you know it, it's important for us to get an understanding let's talk about the two matches that we have on wednesday then Bayern munich versus arsenal uh, that's going to be the first one and we have city against real madrid talk us through the odds for those okay so um Bayern again both matches start at two tomorrow um sorry on wednesday 
and Barn is the home team. And again, Barn are the slight favorites. Um, $2.33 to Arsenal, which is $2.83. Mm, so you expect this one to be a lot closer based should on be, the should odds. Be, should be tight. Should yeah. be tight. Yeah, 233 to 283. And then Man City Real Madrid, I'm interested in this one because not a lot to separate these two. Well, um, they, they, they drew two all, but in the first leg, Man City is at home, which they should put in a good performance at home. They are $2 and, um, sorry, $1.66. And Real Madrid is traveling and they're, they're off at $4.50. Wow, four dollars and fifty cents for Real Madrid. No strangers to turning over teams in the Champions League, whether it is home or away. And you're saying four dollars and fifty cents for Real Madrid to beat Real Madrid. Manchester City? Yep, that is a bargain, Lance and Mariah. That is a bargain. I would take that any day. Tell you what, I changed my mind. I'm gonna group well, not me. But no, that's where I was going. I was like, you told, you told Mark that you're not a betting man, um, just like Lance and myself, but the more you keep speaking, I get the sense that you're going to bet. No, 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 no. What I'm going to suggest is that you could group Manchester City, um, sorry, Real Madrid at $4.50 with PSG at $3 and Atletico Madrid at $3. That's three times three times 4.50 4. 4. times... However, amount of money you spend on that, listen, listen, you could win a lot from just bet, you know, I'm just saying, yeah. I'm just saying. But, but Mark, since uh, Ricardo seems very versed on this betting for a <laughs> non-better, I'm going to ask you for our viewers who are tuned in and genuinely don't know how to use just bet. And they want to bet now because they're so convinced. How do you go about doing this? Is it easy? Okay, so you have several ways of betting or a couple of ways. You can either visit one of our locations, our JustBet locations, or you can create an account, set up an account where you can um, bet from your phone or the comforts of your home um, on any, well, we have hundreds of, of games to bet from, but we're talking about Champions League here. So um, yes, you can, you can visit one of our shops or you can create an account where you can bet on your own. Yeah, and why the Champions League? Why did JustBet Just decide to, of course, become affiliated with betting on one of our top products, the Champions League? Well, Champions League, I mean, outside of the World Cup, Champions League is the biggest competi football competition in the world. Um, we're, we're, we associate ourselves with the best, and this is, this is a top league. Yeah, Michael, I have a, a simple question here, because last week, um, just bet presented to the sports Mac zone uh, someone who shall remain nameless at the moment he was a, a he is a Liverpool fan I'm just wondering if there's something wrong why he didn't turn up today for this link no this, <laughs> <laughs> you're referring you're referring to you're referring to loss on Sunday <laughs> I didn't say anything I just want to know why why the Liverpool man has been replaced for the show today I'm, well, I, I'm just I'm just trying to find out if he's okay Maybe he's licking his wounds, but he's fine, he's fine. We spoke today and he's in good spirits. He I, is. I doubt that very much, <laughs> but I hear you. I, I definitely hear you. Mark, it's been a pleasure chatting with you and we'll see how the matches pan out over the next two days. Sure. Uh, it's a pleasure being on. Thank you. Yeah, Lance and Mariah, right. UEFA Champions League quarterfinal stage. So much to look forward to yeah. over the next two days. Dortmund versus Atletico Madrid, Barcelona versus um, PSG. Um, incidentally, um, Sportsmax has this thing on Instagram where we're supposed to pick with our heads. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Who is going to win? And I picked Barcelona to be in the final with Manchester City. Um, they are on course and the expectation is that they will hold out tomorrow. And this could be massive for Barcelona given the campaign that they're yeah. having, um, the issues with uh, their coach, um, financial issues around the club. And everything that's been happening looks as if they won't win the Liga this year because Real Madrid well on course for that. Um, but this could be massive for them if they are able to go deeper in this competition. Let me just correct you with the Real Madrid Real on course for this. Continuing now, 
Um, Barcelona, <laughs> of course, yes. And they're coming off a win in La Liga on the weekend against mm -hmm. Cadiz, 1-0. So at this point in time, it's as if Barcelona can do no wrong. However, with this PSG team, and the thing is Kylian Mbappe has been so silent when it came to the first leg. So for me, I'm not expecting him to be silent in this second leg. And as much as I want Barcelona to go on, win this and come out of this leg, I still think that you cannot underestimate PSG and what this team can do. I'm pretty sure that all the errors that they made in the first leg, they're going to at least attempt to rectify it. So tomorrow, I genuinely think we're going to be seeing a different type of PSG. Mm. Well, Luis Enrique, on the eve of the match, has pronounced that this tie is still wide open. Correct. And he has expressed confidence that PSG can wipe off the 2-3 deficit and come back to beat Barcelona here. And um, you can't dismiss what he says because um, I think offensively, PSG has the quality to score repeatedly in, in any game they're, they're playing hasn't been um, consistent. You have to remember that. This is not a Barcelona that comes in like a Manchester City and dominates. It's, it's not that type of team. It's a Barcelona that today they show up and tomorrow they don't. I tell you what the history says, though. The history says that it's more likely for um, Barcelona to overturn a 3-2 against PSG than it is for PSG to yeah, overturn yeah. any But that's a Barcelona that anybody. had a Messi. Well... It's PSG. That, that's all I'm saying. With a Kylian it's, Mbappe. It's, it's less about Barcelona and more about what we've seen from PSG in these big Champions League ties over the years. But let's see how this one goes. And last week we were shocked that there were five goals in Paris and no goals for Kylian Mbappe. Yeah. And I'm pretty certain that he would want to change that here. I'd be surprised if he doesn't score tomorrow. And he does I'm not show sure up. scoring will be enough to overturn unless it's multiple scoring by him. But I expect him to score tomorrow. I don't expect him to play two legs here against Barca no. and not score. Exactly. And team, he's the type of player that loves the big stage. Yeah. He shines on the big stage. So he has been humbled in the first leg. I don't expect him to be humbled tomorrow. What about Atletico Madrid and Dortmund? Atletico Madrid has really surprised me with that first leg win. Are you expecting them to continue on that train? I think it's going to be tough, but they I'll give won. them the edge to hold on, yeah? They won in La Liga on the weekend against Girona, who has been trending. Yeah, trending down. <laughs> well, now, yes. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? It's interesting that the quarterfinal stage of the Champions League, we have, what, three Spanish teams remaining in the competition when all year we've been lamenting the lack of quality or not as high a quality in La Liga as we've become accustomed to um, over the years. Um, but they've really done well in the Champions League. And uh, here is another example of it with Atletico Madrid, an outstanding opportunity to make it into the semi-finals. Um, of course, this stage of Champions League competition, not new to them. Um, they have been there before, so let's see. Yeah, yeah I just want to talk about Manchester City Real Madrid because we may not tomorrow. You mean on Wednesday? Yeah, <laughs> looking forward to that, right? Not really. Are you? <laughs> I'm looking forward to that match. I think it'll be a really mouth-watering match. It comes as if they start from zero, because both teams are equal. Lance, what it's do you think? It's well, technically, they start at three. You don't care, Lance. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you that it's it's going to be a humdinger of a match. Um, I, I give City the edge, yes, but I, I think this one is is a gripping and intriguing clash that I, I'll definitely, I think people are going to have their eyes glued to this one. Do you care about the Bayern Arsenal one? Would you like to comment on that? I'll tell you what I care about. I care about Arsenal losing everything they play this year. And I also care about the fact that we will have um, a great team to build you up to tomorrow's Champions League yes. matches. We're out of time here on the Sportsmax Zone. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us on this segment. Still so much more to come. And yeah, the coverage tomorrow starts with a pregame show, match time, 2 o'clock in Jamaica, 3 ECT. And sure, you join the home of champions for all the great coverage. We'll be back with more on the Sports Mag Zone. Yeah.